What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Infernoid deck using left arm offerings and such. Now, reasoning isn't one. Kind of sucks, kind of a problem. But as it stands, the uh, the deck can still potentially operate due to the fact that Monster Gate and Reasoning are now essentially searchable, and with Reasoning taking less of a role in the deck, uh, you can play more of a Light Sworn engine, maybe. Who knows? Certainly not me, but anyway, I can open with a side frame Lord Omega here, and this is kind of alright. Uh, so send Petrolia, make this level 5, then special this, uh, banishing the Petrolia from Grave, making Omega, and then Omega puts the Petrolia back just so I have more fuel. I definitely need to get to a Light Sworn card before that Solar Recharge becomes live, or else it will just be dead the entire time that I play this game. But other than that, uh, yeah, Infernoids. I definitely did not want to play this deck, and I definitely do not like this deck, simply because of what it is, is a deck that tells you how you're going to be playing your games. Like, specifically, like, that opening hand is a perfect example. Is like, it's just telling me how I'm going to be playing the game. Um, and then you have, uh, the reasonings and all that. Like, you mill cards, and based off what you mill, it tells you how you're playing the game. You don't have, like, the decision of how you're playing this game is nearly as heavily as you would with other decks. Um, it, this deck is probably the most RNG based deck I've ever actually seen. So that's one of the reasons why I don't like it. But, I mean, might as well play it if people want to watch it because I've had tons of people that have requested seeing this and all this sorts of nonsense. But anyway, looks like I'm playing against some sort of Shadal variant, which uh, I am playing in ranked, I don't know if I mentioned that. But, uh, okay, so you're going to use Shadal Fusion here and I'm just going to chain this. Uh, so this will remove itself from the, from the, okay, so you still don't get the fuse from deck. Because this is face down. When it's book of, when it's face down, you don't get the summon. <laughs> like, wow. Okay. Um, like, and book of eclipse too, Jesus Christ. Like, wow. Uh, alright, well, I should have an inherently strong matchup anyway, even though my hand is really weak. Um, I also just have this second decatron, which just molds my hand even further. That instant fusion is going to be really good as well. Um, I could actually just probably go into a Minerva um, by normal summon this, send another Harmadic, and that'll be four. And then uh, that'll allow me to instant fusion for the other Decatron. And then I'll be able to make Minerva there. And then the Decatron will still just be chilling, which means that I could then summon a Tondal, or if I mill a Seismus. Yeah, that seems really like good ish question mark um the issue is or i could send entra entra would actually just be better simply because it wouldn't give him his uh fusion spell back uh but i know this is a falco and i know that's a mathematician so i definitely need to deal with those accordingly um but let's see here so if i send entra uh this will go up to three and then i can instant fusion these can't be special summoned by any any other ways which is slightly annoying uh, but that would be a three instant fusion for Norden, um, and Norden would bring back the thing, which would let me do that. Uh, yeah, I just think my better original play is just probably better. Uh, so we'll send Harmadec, um, and this way I can use this to destroy this, and he'll get his fusion spell back. I don't really care too terribly much. Uh, specifically because the card I'm going to be summoning is going to be Minerva, which just, like, generates my plays to a uh, higher degree. But, I could have also actually instant fusioned. My extra deck is definitely not, uh, definitely not set up the way that I kind of want it to be for this deck. I just kind of threw this together, uh, just to kind of test the concept. But, uh, I'm pretty sure the deck could be a lot better than it actually is, but, eh, it's whatever. This sends at rev resolution, right? Yeah, so I don't get to dump on his cost. Unfortunate, but what we will do is we will make Minerva and we will attempt to mill cards and see where it gets. If we draw, like, a, if we mill a Light Sworn and draw a Light Sworn, then RN Jesus is on our side. Uh, not quite on our side, but we did mill some good shit. Alright, so we've gotten some good things in the grave. At least we've gotten a grave resource to utilize. Um, I can summon this, uh, I can summon a Tondal as well. Uh, Tondal, I don't have a level 5 in my extra <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, a Tondal is 8, so we'd be able to attack both of these. Minerva would be able to attack whatever else. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do this. 
Uh, this seems pretty alright. It's Hondel's bigger than anything you can summon out of his uh, main deck, uh, using his main deck as a resource anyway, so I don't know why I'm overly worried about it. I probably just shouldn't be, uh, because I can just keep doing the things that I'm doing. But, let's see, so this can shuffle back at any given point, essentially. I actually, I'm a dumbass. I should have used this and shuffled uh, his uh, Shadal Fusion back into the deck. I forgot that that can shuffle either player's graveyard back. Uh, so there's that. Misplay by myself. But, uh, so what we'll do is we'll attack this. Uh, that will die. In fact, I probably should have attacked with this, and then attacked that, and then I can trigger this one. No, that's in damage calc, so it actually wouldn't trigger anyway. Uh, but I'm still just positive that my matchup against this uh, deck is very, very in my favor. So I'm just going to keep rolling with what I've got. Because, <laughs> might as well, right? Uh, so, yes, I will trigger its ability, and I will attack again. So that will be something that's fine. I don't care that he's resolving beast because I, like I've said, I literally do not see how this matchup isn't in my favor because he's resolving all these effects, but he doesn't have construct, and like my deck just keeps recurring resources that he can't deal with. Uh, at least I believe that's how it operates. Um, and then I can just <laughs> I can just tribute this um, off of. Uh, the Atondal to prevent him from actually, like, Shadal fusing from deck, if that actually matters, and I would love to let him, I would love to make him use his resources, yes. Uh, it's definitely something I would love to force him to do, because, I mean, all of the fusions are actually really underwhelming, though. All of the Shadal fusions are very underwhelming outside of Construct. Winda and Shekinaga are kind of, like, the better ones. But like still, like Construct being able to deal with threats and also being an engine accelerant uh, was really important. Ah, Soul Charge. I see. Uh, okay, so I'm not really worried about this turn regardless then. Because he's going to Soul Charge and I'm not going to die. And I get to just continually try and get cards. If I can protect this Minerva on my board, then that's just great. Like, that's just really good. But otherwise... So, at this point, let's see, you can get by Shekinaga, and that's going to be an issue. Because Shekinaga can negate this, and it can negate this. But, uh, it can't negate this to the point where, like, if he does negate it, then um, that's going to be something that I actually, like, care about. So, I'm going to tribute this, and I'm going to banish the Shek, because I don't want to deal with that. Um, I'd rather not deal with Shek. I'd rather, like, just Minerva um, and be able to mill more cards, because as long as I keep setting up my grave with stuff, it's going to be fine. Uh, we're gonna be fine. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully is the word. Alright, what is he making now? Oh, Trishula? Okay. So, Soul Charge for Trish. And he's banishing that. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So he's banishing my resources, and that's... Uh, that was kind of... Kind of bad. But... Uh, I still don't think I'm in that bad of a spot because he can't really do anything to deal with this. Um, or can he? Is the question I have now because he just said a gloat bulb. So gloat bulb. If he, I swear to God, if like I get hit with a beast god Vulcan, I'm going to like laugh because <laughs> it's. Oh my God, no, no, please! I didn't want that to actually be a legitimate thing. Oh my god! Okay, start as Charge Warrior. <laughs> I was like, Beast God Vulcan bounce the Minerva is such an out right now. You're doing a whole lot of nothing. This is what's hilarious, is he's doing a whole lot of actual nothing. He's Armageddon Knighting for another Armageddon Knight. Um, like, the fact that this is here does Oh my god. Wow. Wow, we, we, wow. But, I'm gonna activate this. He gets to negate it with Shekinaga if he wants, but then I just get to use this effect to still mill three and potentially destroy cards. Yes. I'm going to mill more cards. Um, the only thing you've prevented me is potentially drawing cards. And if there's a Light Sworn amongst these next three, uh, what is... I milled Left Arm Offering and Reasoning. Okay. Well, so now what I can actually do is I can Omega and put the Reasoning back in my deck. Uh, that's easily something that can happen. Um, I have enough engrave to summon a Nunku. Um, and this was already once per turn, so it's already been used. 
So what we'll do is we'll just summon this through all of these, and we will dark hole the board. And um, that gets his thing back. Yeah, easy. Sure. Um, <laughs> perfectly fine. You can have it. I'm going to poke you for this swift 3k. Uh, if you had soul charged for 5, you would have lost by now. Um, ultimately, this solar recharge, would I would love for this solar recharge to be live at some point, but it's not going to be. Oh my god, I didn't even know that was in the grave. I didn't even know that that's what he sent. <laughs> that's how little it actually like matters. But, so we'll use this to shuffle back the reasoning, simply because I'd like to draw that card. Drawing that card would actually be the nut. Uh, but this lets me negate his Shadal Fusion. There's a lot of different things I get to do with this now, but I actually just don't want to, simply because like that really heavily makes me reliant on dr <laughs> polymerization. Alright, sure, you can have it. The, that's the other issue, is that like unless he makes a rank 4 here, nothing he gets he can use can get over Anunku. Um because Anunku is so big and like Construct was the out. But as it stands, like Anunku can just sit here and wall for a bit. Uh, unless he wants to make a rank four. Oh, he's gonna Oh he's got he's playing Juragitos too, Jesus Christ. Well alright. Um Hmm. Okay, he's making the <laughs> Instead of making a rank 4 and outing it for good by like castelling it, he's gonna use the thing and go to and just attack over it. Okay. Going in for that raw damage though. Alright. I don't agree with like any of this. Well, maybe. That's an assault halberd. But still. Eh. I'm so like confused. I wanna draw that reasoning. I wanna draw reasoning or charge of the light brigade. Charge of the light brigade would be really good. Um, like really good right now. Charge the Light Brigade would be like the best, and yes, uh, I would love it. But if I draw a left arm offering, it's literally over <laughs> because I don't have enough cards in hand. Oh no! Oh no! God damn it! <laughs> no! Why? All right, this is a terrible Infernoid deck. I I'm, <laughs> I'm done with this. God damn it. Okay. I lose. Literally, like, the one card I said I didn't want to draw. And it's like, hi. Hi, guys. I'm here now. I'm ready. Oh, that's... Uh, that's uh, that's uh. I'm supposed to have a strong matchup against Shadals. I guess not today. But anyway, this card being dead for a lot of the game actually was a big contributor to that. But anyway, that's it for this video. I guess I'll play with Infernoids at least one more time. Probably won't go live today, though, just because I've got a couple of other videos that are going out. So it'll probably be out probably tomorrow is the likely story but anyway as always guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe to all that nonsense you usually do links are in the description of my facebook and twitch links if you want to go check those out that's what they're there for if you want to support me clicking ads on my videos and disabling ad block when you view them is more than sufficient can't express how much it helps nor how much i would appreciate it personally on a personal level seriously if that's something you do thank you but other than that <laughs> hope it didn't come off as too harsh in this video especially since i got my ass handed to me but Anyway, as always, guys, take care.